Everybody in? Thanks. So. Uh, my picture's still not there. There I go. Maybe. I don't see Scotty. I see his name. Paul Murphy, I see. His, his name is there, but just his, his phone. Why well, he just dark. comes in as a phone? We'll take I'm a tenant shortly and see who's here. <laughs> We're still waiting for, let's see, is, is it uh, Eric on? Yeah, Eric's on. Deb just came in. Yeah. Yeah, I know. As long as I'm in, that's the important thing, I guess. There we go. I'll go down the, the list. Uh, Norm, I see, yes. Here. Okay. Um, Mike Coombs. Yes. Is there. Malcolm <laughs> is there. Mike DeBay. Here. Is there. Me. I'm here. <laughs> Scotty. I'm here. Is there. Karen is there. Deb is there. Uh, Eric is there. And Paul Murphy's there via phone. Okay. We got everybody. And then we'll and get our guests. Two guests, it looks like. Yeah. Sabrina, who I know. Okay, so our guests are <laughs> Sabrina Cooler and Diane Gale. And do we have anybody else that joined? Nobody else joined. Oh, Scotty, your picture just came up. My, my executive assistant, the smarter one, my wife figured it out. <laughs> We're shocked. Turn your screen on. <laughs> Jeez, I think I should have stayed out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can start anytime. Uh, if you can do your announcement, uh, Karen, about the meeting, please. The meeting is being recorded. Okay. And I've done attendance. We got everybody. And let me just put that away because I'll need that later. <coughs> and the minutes we can go to. Any comments on the minutes? Anyone? No? Moment. I'll entertain a motion to accept. Yeah, Mike DeBay, I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes as written. And Norm second. will second it. Norm. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Okay, and I'll go down the list just to affirm. Norm? Aye. Mike Coombs? Aye. Malcolm? Malcolm, you're on you Malcolm. muted. Yeah, you're muted, Malcolm, for some reason. You have to be unmuted. You're still <laughs> muted, Malcolm. He's jumping all over. That's because <laughs> there's an earthquake wherever Malcolm is. Yeah, hey, Malcolm. Right. <laughs> and, okay, Mike DeBay. Uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> um, me, yes. Scotty. Yes. Deb. You're on mute, Deb. Deb's muted. Deb, you're muted. You have to unmute. Yes. There you there go. go. Now you're unmuted. Do I have a yes, Deb? Yes. Okay. Um, Eric. Yes. Paul. Did we lose Paul? No, he's still here. I see the number. Can't tell if he might mute, be muted. Yes. Ah. There, Paul? There he is. Uh -oh. We got a yes? How's that? Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we got everybody. Wrong button. Yes. All right. Public comment. Do we have anybody? Public comment? That's that's our guests. Yeah, we have two Sabrina guests. Sabrina or muted. Can you unmute no. them? Uh, no Aaron? comment. Okay. No comment. Okay. Okay. We'll move on. So next is conservation 
uh, update, CONCOM update? Yes, um, they've had uh, several meetings uh, with a lot of continuances on their NOIs, but they did approve this week uh, the replacement of the retaining wall at 186 Berkshire Avenue. Tim Tomko, the owner of Creative Exteriors, is going to be the contractor. They're going to actually it's a, take the old wall down. The new wall will be natural stone. It'll be moved towards the house by, by 18 inches from where it currently is today. Mm -hmm. There'll be a couple of uh, silt screen fences put in place, and uh, they, they approved that unanimously. <clears throat> okay. Okay. They ratified the enforcement order for 22 Bab Road on North Pond, where there had been a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of work done uh, illegally. Uh, the owner of the property is working with them, and they gave him a continuance to the next meeting to bring in his plan to uh, fix the problem. Okay. Okay. And uh, they've had now on their uh, agenda uh, the annual removal variance for 4010 Mountain Road, which is on our agenda later. Uh, and I'll hold that till then. Uh, and I told them we would probably have a, a decision on, on what we would recommend for their next meeting on December 20th. Okay. Okay, they also have finally approved uh, the uh, condominium complex at 42 Depot Street. It doesn't really impact the lake, but there's been a lot of controversy about that particular project. Uh, and uh, there was, as far as I was concerned, it was a very nice compromise on both parties uh, to uh, make it work. So that was approved. That still has to go to the plan. No, the planning board still has to approve it. They got the final say. Yeah. And that's, that is the update from the conservation commission. I have a, I have a question, Norm. Um, yes. You know, if, if CONCOM, I think they're the ones who would do it, sent out either letter or call or something to remind uh, everybody on the lake that all their docks have to be out by December one. I do not believe anything went out. There was no discussion of that. And Jean didn't mention anything to me today when I saw her. Uh, she's quite swamped with Dennis still being not replaced. Uh, you know, they're, 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 they're having trouble keeping up. So I'm wondering if we can use the, uh, the hotline or whatever it's called. The the code, code red. Hotline. Yeah, that code, was requested. Code red. That was requested. Yeah, oh, was it? Okay. Oh, yeah, big there's definitely a number of docks that are still in. And, well, uh, yes, I did talk to Kirk today on that subject because a lot of them is his crew that will be removing them. And he said uh, they're behind and they'll have them out within a week. Oh, that's good. So all that's right. the, now I don't Come know on. if that impacts all of them, but I know he's got several of them that he's going to bring out. Yeah, they, there are some that I know he doesn't do. Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> that, that are in the water. I think there should be an all call from CONCOM and that I sent to him in writing um, because it is administered by conservation and yep. the date has come and gone. And so it should, should be something done post haste before they're frozen in the lake. Yeah. The, you know, uh, you guys don't know it, but Norm is still sending me data every single day and uh, you know, that the lake's getting cold. Oh, yeah. It is. Get the docks out. <laughs> yeah, it was 44 today. Yeah. It's getting nippy. Sure is. Okay. Anything else on that? Nope. nope. All right. We'll move along. Um, so we have the sheets 10 and 11 had the lake level water quality information. Eric, maybe you can do a quick. <clears throat> Okay, sheets 10 and 11. Decode it for us. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I, I should have looked at this ahead of time and I didn't. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so just uh, in, in general, there, there was no, uh, you know, no peculiar behavior. This is now uh, the second year in a row with uh, no blooms, as everyone can see, <coughs> and very little uh, blue-green algae, e extremely little. 
and bas basically no cyanobacteria. So the, it, you know, what we said at the end of the first year after the treatment was the second year really kind of tells you whether or not your treatment really did the job. And I think the data says the treatment really did the job because now, now at the end of the second year, things are probably maybe even a little better than they were at the end of the first year. So okay. uh, in, in general, all, you know, quite good. And I think everyone saw that, you know, the, the clarity was, was quite good throughout the whole year. Right. Um, and normally there's a, there's a fall, uh, there's a noticeable fall increase in turbidity normally. And, uh, and, it, and it's, it's expected due to certain algae cycles and we basically didn't have it this year. So, hmm. so it is, uh, right. you know, that's good. It is good. Malcolm, you're still muted. <laughs> Somehow, if you can unmute yourself. He must be having I'm earthquakes. Thinking, there. I'm thinking his wife figured out how to set that permanently. <laughs> <laughs> how about now, guys? Can you hear me hey, now? Weird. Now you're on. Yeah, I tried to get in three times there, but nobody let me in, so it was weird. Ah. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> so Keep moving going. on, the uh, the beaver dams are not there anymore. Solitude came on, actually, they came a day ahead of schedule. They were originally yeah. scheduled to come on Friday the 19th of November, and they actually arrived on Thursday the 18th around 11 <laughs> o'clock, and... Uh, Suffield DPW moved the big boulders to the night before, so everything was out of the way, and they launched. I've got you've got a picture there of the, the uh, of the rig. It's actually a bigger rig than the last time they were here, and so they while they were at it, they actually took out five dams uh, going down there. There were more than we thought because they what they did was clean out debris that had accumulated uh, where they've been building dams but hadn't made <coughs> it to the surface with all of them. And so they went right down, marched their way down and cleaned them all out. And then they took a bite out of a lot of the stuff that was in front of the uh, weir gates, but they couldn't get to the west side because of the size of the rig. Uh, they couldn't angle it enough to, to get in and, and, and clear that. So Scotty, I believe you and, and Mike have been down there and we're going to try and get um, our DPW guys. And if not, I'll get Crestview to go down and take a bite out of the material that is left in the, it would be the um, the Western side, correct? Correct. Right. right. And uh, get them to go down. I think it would be better with a mini rather than a, a backhoe, just cause you have a little better control. Um, you know, it's not as, not, not as big a machine. And you really don't need to lift masses, you just need to clean. So that's my, my intent. If our guys can't make it, uh, then you know we'll go ahead and get, uh, what do you call it, uh, Crestview in. Because we still have money left over. It was $3,500 is what, uh, what do you call it, charged, solitude. And that's pretty reasonable. But they really spent two days um, they worked late on Thursday, and then they started early on Friday. And Mike DeBay provided them with a spot for overnight, so that was easy for them. They were already down there because the commute takes quite a bit of time with a, <laughs> a paddle wheeler. Um, Good job. They did a great job, Dick. Yeah. Money of, well lot spent. A lot of crap out of there. Yep. So, and the Suffield DPW, was they were great. They came back put the boulders back in place. But before they did that, they actually pulled out uh, the truck with the rig because it was, it was so long and so big that he got stuck in that, in that goo that's down there. And he figured it would. So they stayed there and they just pulled him out with a, with a chain and got him back up was a piece of cake. So they were really great. And then they, and they readjusted some of the, the boulders. So the next time we do it, uh, it'll actually be easier uh, to, to get a clear path. So anyway, so that's a thank you to all those that participated, Scotty and, and 
Malcolm and, and uh, Mike DeBay also did a lot of manual cleaning down there and have been doing the monitoring uh, and adjusting. So any questions on that? Yeah, this is Mike DeBay. I don't have a question, yeah. but I, I have something for you. First, Scotty was the one that got in the water down there, not me. I don't want to take credit for that. <laughs> um, the um, If you're going to have Crestview or even the town guys come in, have them take a look at the west side there. They got to have a pretty good size reach to come down off that bank and into the water to get the, the mud, because that's the real issue there, the mud on that west side. Okay. Backed up against the, against the uh, gate to the point that we can't lower the gate all the way down. All right, so they may, may have to come down with the extender hoe then, you know, a, a backhoe to get that reach. Yeah, they at least have them look at it so they know All what right. equipment to bring. Okay. CCI, look at it. Yep. We do have an extender hoe, our, our DPW. So I'm, well, I'll actually get them both to look, look at uh, mm. site. Okay. Um, Next thing is the, uh, let's see, 17 through 20. We're on to page 17 through 20. And so the boathouse, that, that's the draft agreement that you see in, it starts on page 19. And that has gone to our uh, town council they have approved it with a couple of very minor changes, additions actually, not even changes. And so the next thing is for that to be formalized and to get it to the select board and, and, and uh, the state has to sign off and the select board have to sign off on it. So that will allow the police to construct a, a, a what do you call a building to store the boat in that's water accessible. Basically, they'll come in, it'll have like a, almost like a tray, but it'll be a, a, a trailer that will have a winch right inside the building. So they pull up on the trailer, <coughs> uh, it'll go up on a couple of rails and right inside, store it there with a garage door shut down tight, not, not where you can get in from underneath. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a man door on the side so you can get in from the outside to open everything up and so on, get everything ready, back out and you're in the in the water in a few minutes. Cool. And so they, they're really looking forward to that. So that, that, that's real good news. Um, any comments on that one? No? No. All right. So no. if we go to page 21, that's a, those signs are replacing the signs that used to be on the on the uh, fishing pier. They were all worn out, and when they redecked the fishing pier, uh, they pulled off the old ones that were shot. And I've got these brand new ones. I don't know whether able to get them on before spring. If if anybody wants to has a boat that they can get out there or can borrow one from Saunders. Uh, they can go in the same holes where they came out. Why don't, um, you just wait, why don't you just wait till the ice stick and walk out and put them on? That's an idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That way we can do it real simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if we get ice this year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll just make a note on that. Wait till ice. <clears throat> MC. Okay. Um, next on the hit parade here, the, is the funding page 22. We got basically the, all the funds we need to replace the batter boards, which was kind of cheap money, uh, mm -hmm. and, and the weir gates from ARPA funds. This, that's the, uh, federal funds that were given to the states. And the states in turn gave monies to the town. And so it's not, we don't have to go fight for it in a budget operation that's already been approved by a select board. I have finished the, uh, the draft of the bid specs. So I would say they're 90, 95, 98% ready to go. 
I was able to use the, the specs from the, the, the first set of weir gates and modify them for the, uh, for the new ones. We've already had one vendor out looking and, and uh, you know, scoping uh, the, the types of gates that would actually have to go in there. So that information, the, the, uh, more of the details on those gates are in the spec already. So when do you think uh, we would we would do the, uh, the weir gate installation? We'll probably see it in the uh, May June time frame. Mm -hmm. This year, two twenty two yes. coming up. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So so they'll have to do some sort of a coffer dam. To... No, no, they don't have to do anything because unlike this, <laughs> unlike the ones on the canal, that you can just stand in water on and. Uh, you know, you're, you're standing on hard ground right in front of it and on concrete and behind it, you know, in the, in the box culvert, it's, you're standing on concrete. So you're mm -hmm. only in, uh, you know, waders at most, you know, mm. and, and for the most part, they can, what most of them would, they would likely do is suspend something over the side so they can work off a, a, a suspended platform right, right. good the installation is, is actually easier on these because they're going to go in a slot uh from the top it's clear from the top you don't have to do anything fancy basically drop them down the slot they'll have a, an l channel on them that'll get uh lagged right to the the faces of the of the abutments and dick i just wanted to mention that the batter boards actually go right on top of a concrete pad that goes right across. That's correct. So there's a lip on that thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is it, Dick, is that the same slot that the, the gates would go into? The, where the, the batter, batter boards, boards are, are going, the gates will go in where the slot is. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And the, the batter boards are being made, and Crestview is going to install them. It'll be probably another week or so because we've got them really busy on, on road projects before the asphalt plants close. But, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to get in the water at all. You just drop them mm -hmm. down from the top. Good. Okay. So basically, late next spring, early next summer, we'll have proper rear there. Yep. And we won't have those flooding concerns. That's and they're great. bi-acting the same as the ones that are on the canal now. So we have a bottom section that moves up and a top section that moves down. Okay, so when, when these are installed, is there gonna be a mechanism that we can secure them so that yes. nobody these, can be helpful? Yes, these in the spec says that they have to have a place for a padlock on each each Good. one, uh, key to like, et cetera, et cetera. Good. Thank you, I just wanna mention I just want to mention on those, they need to be higher than the ones that are down at the wear gates. Right. Absolutely. When it backs up on Berkshire Avenue, we can get real high there. They'll go right up to the top of the of the culvert. Beautiful. And the, the other Did thing is, is he, I took him down to look at, at the ones on the canal. And he says he can give us a modification so that we can lock those. Good. We need that. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Dick, what, but what will be the lowest the gates can go? I don't think you can go low enough and let water out. I mean, when we did the gates down the other end, there was a lot of dimensions on the, on the high water mark, the low water mark. If you cut the opening in half, you're never going to let water out. <clears throat> that, that's a pretty tall uh, flume. So if no, you, got... you, can let, you can let water out by raising the bottom. Once they... Right now, yeah. until the until the canal gets until Great Brook gets dredged, we don't want that. Yeah. You don't so want once the canal out. is dredged, then you just raise the bottom one. Right, but that's probably never going to happen. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. say that. I wouldn't right. say that. One of the good things about all this federal funding is that there's an awful lot to address the environment. Hmm. I mean, you're talking probably. I, I think that. The numbers I'm hearing rattling around are in the range of 250, 300 billion dollars um, to address those type issues. Okay. We're only looking for one percent. Right. 
<laughs> right. Well, the, the, the main concern now, though, really is to keep the water from coming into the lake. Yeah, exactly. It's really the, the concern right now. Right. Right. So that will take care of that one. Um, and, and as far as dredging Grape Brook and Canal Brook, I'm still continuing. Uh, we have dialogue fairly regularly with our, our states, our U.S. Senator and U.S. Representative. And so uh, that's, that's one of the, the good things. They've got, they understand there's a big pot of money there and, and you know, let's get some of it directed to Southwick. Actually, directed to the NRCS to take over the job entirely. We don't want to run that job. We'd rather have people who do that for a living run that job, including permitting. True. Sure. They design it, they permit it, and then they do it. And they're real good at it. So that's how, that's how we're trying to get is that money moved to them for a specific job, jobs. And the canal would Canal Brook would be first and Great Brook would be second. Canal Brook has to be done as a federal project because it's interstate. Great Brook, really the same thing because it's inter, uh, you know, it, it's in Southwick and Westfield and it flow, eventually flows into the Connecticut. So it has a good pedigree for getting federal dollars <coughs> to clean up what feeds, what goes in, what empties into the Westfield River that goes into the Connecticut River that goes into Long Island Sound. So you know, when you when we write these things up, Long Island Sound has a TMDL, total mass daily load, and everything upstream of that has to reduce what's heading downstream. So we got a good shot at it. Um, the next one is getting into um, lake level protocol. Let me just get my other cheat sheet here. Um, where'd you go? <laughs> Lake level protocol. And regarding that, I also sent you, because it was tough to read, um, just the colors made it kind of drown out being able to read it. But we, what we had talked about several times now is going to... Um, let me just get to that page. Stall here for a second. Going to eliminate the no wake condition entirely and have a no boating. And so if the lake is rising and gets above 225.2, .2, which is where we had for no wake, it'll be no boating. And coming back down when the lake is falling, and again, this is no motorized boating is, is, right. is what we've agreed on. Um, mm -hmm. No motorized boating if the lake is falling and still above 224.8. So in other words, it is falling, but it hasn't fallen enough. Right. And that gives the guard band so that we don't toggle back and forth between no boating, yes boating, no boating, yes boating. So that was what we had proposed is, are there any comments on that? Any changes? Because we didn't get to vote on it the last time because we didn't have a meeting. And this is a vote to recommend it to uh, the Harbor Master who has been a part of this. He's seen the emails. And then the Conservation Commission and then the Select Board. That's the order. So we, we initiate it. We say what we feel is the right protocol and then seek concurrence from the Harbor Master, Conservation, and Select Board. Anybody have any comments about what's being proposed? So I, I just had one quick question. So I understand the 225.2, it raises the post above that, we shut it down. Yeah. Do we then open the lake back up when it drops at two, when it's down to 224.8 or, or on the way down, but you need to at least reach that. It has to get to 224.8 before point we can reopen. Eight. Always, always point 0.8. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm personally okay with it. Anybody else? Yep, I'm fine. No, I'm fine with that, Dick. That's what we had talked about, and we all were kind of in agreement before on it. Right. Yep. 
<clears throat> so if, if everybody's happy, entertain a motion to recommend that to- I'll make a motion to recommend that to the, to the <clears throat> as you stated, Mike. Cooper. I'll second it. Mike C, okay, Mike C. And who I'll seconded? Second it. Malcolm. 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 Malcolm D. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. And I'll go down. I'll read them. Norm? Aye. Mike Coombs? Aye. Malcolm? Aye. Mike DeBay? Aye. Me? Yeah, aye. Scotty? Aye. Deb? Aye. Eric? Aye. Paul? Yes. Okay. Confirmed. Affirmed. All right. So next we have um, a variance. So there's a request and you have the paperwork for the request. And I also emailed separately the variance, the actual paperwork for the variance. Uh, so it's, I did look it up and you, what I put in your package is the Google Earth shot of it. And it has been there. I did verify it has been there for more than a decade. It has. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Didn't know that. That's what I was wondering. Okay. Dick, actually, that, that thing has been there for many, many, many years. It's concrete, huge concrete box. And then on top of it, they put the wood shaped okay. structure. Goes way back. So okay. this should really be a like a permanent variance unless it falls apart. You know, we could so state that. Right? As long as they maintain it. So we don't have to do this every year. We've done this before where there's something that is significantly it's built properly, so it's not likely to cause a problem. And the only thing that we have also always asked anybody that has anything that stays in there over the winter is they put the orange barrels and a light, you know, on the end of it. They could be solar lights just so somebody doesn't run into it in the winter. Right. Yeah. I do think, by the way, over the years, the ice pool goes blocked around a little bit. So We're losing you, Scotty. We're losing you. Oh, it's a little cockeyed. That's all over the years. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. So, do we have any other comments on it, or or do we want to take a vote? In you know, do you, personally, I think we should approve it. I don't. Yeah, take a vote. Just take yeah. a vote. Well, should so. we should, should we specifically say that when it's time to be repaired or replaced, that it's uh, no longer a permanent yes. structure? Yes. Right. And that's what we've done with the other ones. Yep. All right, so I'm going to note that as when time to replace, time to, and we'll and make sure they add that, to replace, uh, remove, and not permanent. And I'll, I'll reword that just so I don't have to write down a whole bunch of words. And then yeah. the other thing was to put the barrels and light, right? Lights yeah. on end, on ends, outboard ends. And there's two. So, because it's like a... I guess they pull a boat right in the middle of it. Yep. Yeah. Looks like. I don't even think they have a boat. Did, given they had a sticker before, did they have a variance before? No, they did no. not. No. No. This is a new owner. Yeah. The, the old owner never asked for a variance. No, the old owner just ignored it. Well, they're put lights on it. They said they're putting lights on it to make it safer. safer. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So, all Mike, right. Mike, Mike is correct, by the way. There hasn't been a vote on that. Well, Scotty, we lost you again. Scotty, you're not. You got to talk to your speaker. There's no boats over there. <laughs> all right. Am I there? Yeah, you are now. I'm, I'm just saying, Mike is correct. There has not been a boat on that thing in a number of years. Yeah. On that dock. Okay. Maybe because it's a new owner, <laughs> they will have. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Likely. Yeah. Okay. So do we have a motion? Somebody? I'll make a motion. I'll, I'll make a motion or Malcolm, whatever. I'll make a motion to do right. as you Mike Coombs made the motion. 
Yeah, I'll second it. Mike C, who second Malcolm? Malcolm. Yep. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Unanimous. I'll read the. All right, Norm. Aye. Mike Coombs. Aye. Malcolm. Yes. Mike DeBay. Aye. Me. Aye. Scotty. Aye. Deb. Aye. Eric. Aye. Paul Murphy. Yes. Okay. Unanimous. Okay. Um, the North Pond update, uh, you can read because Norm already said that there's activity on it in conservation. They're following up. So unless somebody has any questions on what's there. No. Okay, so we can, let me see what's next. Got a few things. Um, everybody needs to get sworn in that hasn't been sworn in. <coughs> ASAP. You know, stop by town hall, uh, the clerk's office, and just get sworn in. And you also, there's a social media policy that I emailed to everybody. I've got maybe half back. And that has to be signed. Anybody can witness it in your family. You don't have to take it to a notary public or anything like that. It's just so I, you, you should have mine. I handed it in to the. Yes, I have yours. Yeah. Okay, good. Dick, uh, I hate to be else? a pain, but you got to be more specific because we've gotten so many of those requests for going to the town hall. I've been there three times. I think I got everything sworn no, I emailed. I emailed the forms to you. It's a thing to read. And then there's a form. It's like I four pages. That. I did that. I emailed it back to you, and I then you I have yours, them. Mike. Yeah. yeah, but I mean the other issue too, the one about going to the town hall and get sworn in. I know Mike and I did that once a couple of weeks ago or a month okay. ago now. I don't as, know when. As it long was. as you did, that's fine. Okay. Yep. yep. Yeah, we signed the book. We're all set. Okay. Hey, and anybody that didn't needs to go there. Dick, did yeah. did we do this media thing before? We signed off on that before. No, we've never had that. To, well, a long time ago, we had one to sign, but it's been probably a few years. Right. There's actually a date on it. If you look at it, it was like yeah. 2018 or something like that. Yeah, was I saw the last that. time we saw it. Yeah. So it suddenly appeared and we, we had to send it out to everybody. Okay. Okay. Um, budget, budget process is starting. And here's what I've been collecting for that is to get them to raise the buoy budget to 2,400 uh, to, to uh, keep the canal budget at, at 5,000, which is, these are capital items. So I don't know if you remember that last year we had $5,000 that was operations money which has to be re restored each, each year, or you use it or lose it. Now it was moved by a town meet, by a vote at town meeting, the annual town meeting, moved from operations to capital. So now it's a capital line item and it's much easier. We wanna go back and add 5,000 to that. And that's our money to keep Canal Brook open. So, uh, and if, if, we ran, if we ran that well dry, then we just have to ask for a, an emergency authorization. But it is that figure, that figure that, yeah, that number <laughs> covers about a day and a half, two days worth of work uh, by solitude. So it's a pretty good number. It is. And, and having it there is, is a nice cushion. You know, it's, uh, we don't have to last minute go say, hey, we've got a problem. We don't have any money. Um, we already talked about all docks being out. We really need to get conservation to, to do that. Um, get that code read out. Okay. Any, anything else? Yeah, uh, Dick, you, you sent that form out for, um, the form for requesting boat stickers, dock stickers, and it did not have lift stickers on that. I sent that back to you. Yes. Despise that again or what? Yeah, what I'm going to do, I found, I started rummaging, and we had created the form that had, oh, if you recall, correct. we agonized over that, and it had the lift stickers yes. on it. Yeah. 
with yep. the electric or whatever. Yep. Yep. And but I had sent not that a couple of times to conservation. And for some reason, what went out was not what was agreed upon. So I will I will dig that out again um, and email what I have finally found. And so email, I'm just making a note to myself here. Email um, LPP with lifts. That, that's enough to let me know what I got to find. Get it out <laughs> or email it. But I did find it. Oh, and you did? You know, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Good. Yeah, they sent it out, so it's around. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had done our thing. And in, in fact, I believe conservation had actually approved it. <laughs> well, they actually <laughs> sent it out three years ago because I filled it out. Yeah. yeah. And then the okay. wrong one yeah, went out stickers. for some reason. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I so, guess my next question will be, Dick and Norm, has there been anything done about talking to the new select people in Suffield about dock rates? I know there was a conversation that it's only $2,200. They were going to get together with the selectmen, but now there's a new selectman in Suffield. Has that happened? I don't think, I don't know that the new selectman's in place yet. Does anybody know? I think maybe it's the first of the year, but. I think so. Yeah. But that, I, meeting, that meeting never happened. I'll be and glad I, to check on that for us. Okay. Okay. Okay, Norm, thank you. Thanks. I have a, I have an update. Are we on other now, Dick? Yeah. Okay. Well, today was kind of an, uh, an exciting day. Uh, they pulled the car out of the lake. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right at the pinch, about 150 feet out. Uh, they had a interstate uh, hauler there, a 60-ton hauler. The, the police dive boat team was there. The uh, fire department was there. The police was there. It was really uh, pretty pretty exciting. Uh, it was live streamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Channel 22 covered it. It was on the 6 o'clock news tonight. Yep, yeah. No, I have to see that. The car they pulled out was... Uh, uh, Grand, Ford Grand uh, Torino, which they stopped making back, I think, in 68. So that that puppy's been in there for quite a while. It actually broke apart. Yeah. Uh, when they were hauling it in, they had, they had to take a couple trips to get it get it all in. It was all rusted and looked terrible. So it had been mm. in there a long time. Long it's time. Scotty's. It's Scotty's car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's been looking for that one for a long time. <laughs> oh yeah, that one obviously hasn't isn't going to run again. <laughs> no, yeah. maybe one that didn't make it across the ice by the sandbar. Yeah. yeah. So, I you know it's funny because I had heard that when they when they found it with a with the cameras that it was it looked like a a, a newer vehicle. And certainly what came out of the lake wasn't a newer vehicle. <laughs> Talk about a bucket of rust. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So anything else? Uh, Dick, I got a well, question quite, if we're on other. Go ahead, go go ahead, ahead if somebody's still going. Norm, are you still okay, going? I, I was I was I'm just done. gonna ask, how about the motor for the for the your boat, Dick? Have oh. we been able to secure funds for that? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I left that out when I was started to talk about budget. The answer is yes. That's that's uh, one of the key items, and I'm waiting for a number from Kurt. Uh, okay. For and while we're on that, I would think that we've got to go to something like a. This is my gut feel, but maybe somebody has a better idea, like at least a 75 horse, because that's grossly Agreed. underpowered for the weight in that boat. Agreed. No doubt. That's that yep. thing is a barge. <laughs> it's a barge. Right. Yes, it is, Eric. <laughs> I mean, maybe it needs a hundred on it. It, it need it needs a hell of a lot more than it's got now. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. You know, should we ask for you know get a price on a hundred horse? Yes. Or, at least. What's on there now, Dick? What's on there now? How big is on there now? That's a fifty. Fifty. Yeah, you I mean, need it's a it's a, a ninety or a one fifty. <laughs> Yeah. Idea. Okay, let me make that note. And uh, 
and it's a tired 50. <laughs> Any comments about what might be better? You know, I mean, um, no, any of the a one fifteen man. If you go with any of Miami or whatever, I mean, uh, do would you rather see us put a one fifty on it than a ninety? Yeah, I I tell you, Dick, when you're pulling the boys, you can't go much faster than it already goes. Oh, well, it's not for speed; it's for yeah. power. That's yeah, for, I would go with a one fifteen. One fifteen is what you need. Yeah. Anything new is going to be better than what they got, and that's what you need, something that runs better. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to use it for skiing, Dick, so don't worry about yeah, it. Right. Yeah. It was a 115. You, you said 115? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and if, they're, if they're prop choices, you know, I'd pick a, a prop with a, you know, with a low rate because we, yeah. we're not looking right. for speed. We just want looking a lot power. of power. Yeah. 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 yeah, they they can do that. They can prop it right for power. Yeah. yeah. All right. Even so make let's, them try, not let's try for the 115. It'll give us, a, you know, uh, especially when they've got the dive team on there and all their equipment. That's a lot of weight. Yep. You know, and it is a tri hull. Oh, yeah. So. It's plenty tri. All right. Okay, Dick, I got two questions for you. One, we still on track for March to go back to regular meetings? April. When we're back to full meetings i thought that april started is when we March. start our our our, <clears throat> our two meetings a month up until then we we have it's tough to get a quorum that's good okay okay i thought that started in march not april but that's okay that's fine april yeah uh second question is uh karen did you take annie's phone he yes. must be the one you're sending the messages out on yes yeah uh, the last four digits of 1438 yes Okay, I want to change in my phone because it keeps coming up as Annie sending out the things. <laughs> and I'm not on it. When you're um you're hitting them out, I'm not getting them. I think Dick, I told you the other day. Okay. Yeah, the two was Malcolm and and uh, Eric. Eric, yep. And I okay. texted those numbers uh, to to uh, Karen so she could add those. Great. I I went down the entire list to make sure that we were all on there. Good. Okay, thank you. We went to the uh, accounting office about the phone to change it, the name on it. Yeah. Did she they ever gonna, get back to you on that? Never, no. <laughs> she was going to change it to uh, just Lake Management instead of a name. Yeah, that would be better. Um if, if you want to send a reminder to me, I'll forward it in and uh, to several people so we can see if we can get somebody to, to take care of that. Okay. All right. Anything else? All right. Our next meeting is January the 13th, 2022. Just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Likewise. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> have, any, have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. That was Deb? Yeah. Yep. Second. I'll second it. It. <laughs> Mike DeBay <laughs> seconded it. Mike D. Or somebody can. I don't care who seconded it. <laughs> all in, all, in, second all in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Abstain. Unanimous. Good night. <laughs>